All right, so looking at a problem like this, ladies and gentlemen, when always we're looking at factoring, I don't care what type of problem you're going to look into, always try to see if you can factor out a common factor. And I always want to look into your greatest common factor. So what we do is you look at each one of these terms, and you see what do they all share that we can factor out. They all factor out an A, or they all share an A. So therefore, Zan is going to find a new seat because you can factor out an A. Okay. Is everybody following me so far with that? Yes. Okay. Now we have a trinomial that we can factor. So when factoring trinomials, we like to, I like to use my little diamond as a guide. So I have my 1, so negative 64, and then 12. So now I need to look into what two numbers multiply to give me negative 64, but then add to give me 12. How about 16 and 4? Oh. And therefore, since it's a positive 12, I know 16 has to be positive, and my 4 has to be negative. Now, here comes the problem, though. If I look at this, right, we know it's t has to be t times t, and we know this is going to be plus 16 and minus 4, right? Because we know 16 times negative 4 gives us a negative 64. But the problem is, 16 times t and negative 4 times t, we need to get that to be a t squared. Also, t times t needs to be t to the fourth. So we're going to write that as t squared times t squared. And that would be your factor form for number 24. Oh, I forgot.